Hey there everyone, and welcome to another video, and I'm trying this again because in the previous take, I accidentally leaked the emails and full names of every single developer on BitPhoenix software. Oops. Anyway, in this video I want to show you guys a little bit around Hack and Plan, which is what we use to develop PeaceNet with. It's basically a mix between a project manager and a game design document, and it's completely free, unless you get the pro version, which gives you some additional stuff. Um, that you don't really need unless you're a game dev studio. Um, so this video, um, it's going to be a series actually, and the first video, which is what I'm recording right now, will show you guys around the different parts of the UI. So the first thing is the dashboard. The dashboard basically tracks your progress. Anything you need to work on, anything that's due, about to be due, um, your progress, stuff like that. That's your main dashboard. The project dashboard is what the entire team will see. Um, so it tracks the entire team's progress, um, it gives you information about the project, um, you can customize that as an admin, and it gives you milestone progress and stuff like that. Boards is basically, um, boards and milestones are where you spend a lot of your time, it's basically where you, where you track things you need to do. Um, I will cover this in the next video, possibly. Uh, but basically, the gist of it is you log time, you can set, or you can change the status of an item, you can filter by what the, or what type of item it is. So if I want to see programming, because I'm a programmer, then I can click that. Um, if if you want to see UI, then we go, or that's probably not UI, I can't see, I'm running blind. But yeah, that's how that works. Um, and you can drag things across the different columns. When you drag it to incomplete, the task is complete and everyone on the team is alerted that. Um, backlog, I don't know how to use. I'm going to need to figure that out. Um, but basically, it's boards, but not really. Um, it's another way to track tasks. Um, design model is where you spend a lot of your time as well. It is the game design, or game design document part of this whole thing. So basically every feature in the game is defined in here and you can categorize features you can store categories in categories um, features can have different element types for example you might have a ui element or you might have a character or a song whatnot um and i'll get into that settings or metrics sorry is a more advanced view of the public dashboard and it's a complete um it's a complete breakdown of everyone's progress on the team. Um, so that's cool. And I have no idea what all these, oh, these are all tags, uh, categories. Okay, so I'm not leaking anyone. Good. Um, and administration is the scary part because that's where I accidentally leaked everyone. General, um, you can customize the public dashboard here and you can delete your project and all data in it um if you want to um mod shells is where you customize your hack and plan experience for example i have mine set to add tile which means there's no due dates etc as you can see enable task due dates is off um so tasks can come and go as they please um design element dates are also off stuff like that activity logs are off um, so basically, it's very agile and quick. Users and permissions. Don't go in there, Michael. Um, if I go in there, I will see a list of everyone on the team, their full names, and their emails. Um, but basically, that's where you set everyone's permissions and what they can and can't do, and you add new people to the team. If you want to give someone admin, that's where you go. Boards and milestones is where you get to customize, well, the boards and milestones that display in this area, the boards area. Um, categories is where you can display or where you can customize the different types of tasks. For example, UI, um, bugs, ideas, programming, etc. Um, so if you want to customize those, you can. Design model is where you customize the various different types of design elements in your game. For example, um, we have a hackable service, we have character, terminal command, these are all custom to us. 
Um, it'll start you out with a lot of generic stuff that exists for all games. Um, you can remove them, you can edit them, do whatever you want. Um, that's where you do it. Tags are, if you use GitHub with issues and pull requests, um, you can customize tags there. It's the exact same thing as it is here. These are basically tags you can assign to each task to let you know um, their importance level, what kind of task they are, etc. Um, so they're pretty useful. Storage and data is basically administrative stuff. It tells you how much space you're using up and how much space you have left. Um, and they're pretty generous. They give you half a gig on the free plan, which is not that bad. Um, and data allows you to export the entire project. Um, i th surprised that's not a pro feature. Anyway, that's just a quick little tour of the Hack and Plan UI. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.